Good morning, welcome back. It's about 9.16 now. So for many students, school is out of session and the skies are clear, well, for now. Parents might be looking for some inexpensive ways to entertain the kiddos. That is why we sent our David Sears out to the San Antonio Zoo to check out the newest and coolest exhibit they've got set up out there. David, what is new at the zoo? Oh, I'm telling you, a lot is new at the zoo, Mark. We have basically been transformed to the land beyond. Very mystical, very mythical. It's, wow, it's like going back in time with dinosaurs and dragons. You can see the dragon right there. You can see it slobbering a little bit because he noticed us standing here. Apparently it's lunchtime at the Dragon Forest. I don't know, that's kind of scary, isn't it? That dragon looking like that, I don't know about. Hope Roth is with the San Antonio Zoo. This is an incredible place. It's right across the street from the zoo. Tell us about the Dragon Forest. Yes, welcome. So this is Dragon Forest, and a lot of people did not realize there's about 26 acres on the other side of 281 that's also a part of the zoo. And in our master plan that will be coming, stay tuned, this will all be part of the zoo. But until then, we have 16 animatronic, larger-than-life dragons for everybody to come and see. It's a walking tour here. Here. They spit fire, they spit, spit, they do, they do all kinds of stuff. They make noises. We can hear them like across the park over there making all kinds of fun noises. Oh yeah, so if you're little or you're big, everybody loves dragons, especially with the Harry Potter fans and the Game of Thrones. We're actually gonna have theme weekends coming up this summer, so head to our website to see when we're gonna do those. But this is a wonderful Renaissance village that we have oh, here. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna show you the Renaissance village. They got this path that goes all around the dragon forest, so you can see all the dragons and all the dinosaurs and then if you want to rest, get some food, enjoy some shows, there's the Renaissance Park that they have. So what are you going to be able to do right here? So on Saturdays and Sundays on the stage that you see here, we have a falconry show with birds of prey that comes out. It's three times a day and you will have huge birds flying over your head, coming back over to the stage. It's an amazing show. And then we also have the ability to get a henna tattoo, buy some fun dragon merchandise, and a little bit we'll talk and you will get to taste some of the fabulous food and drink we have to offer. I was going to say, but there's more. And look, real life prehistoric animals. Animals. The real dragon here, pretty the Komodo close, dragon. Close. Exactly, yeah, this beautiful little lady, this is Gia. Gia is a Cuban rock iguana, so they're native to the Caribbean. One of your third largest species of iguana, but they're primarily gonna be herbivores. But what's really cool is the, the texture of scales on their skin right here. If you kind of go backwards, it almost mimics that of like a dragon scale, which is cool. And even these on the back, it's kind of that more ferocious, like dragon-like scale, which is cool. And then the other one over here we have, this is Twig, and Twig is an Eastern screech owl. So again, like those birds of prey, this is actually a native species to right here in Texas. And he is actually a rescued bird to our team, but you can actually oftentimes hear them at night. They make more of a kind of a light trilling noise for their vocalization, which is really unique. But if you never see them, you're gonna hear them before you see them, which is really cool. Awesome, beautiful live animals. We've got the dragons and of course we've got food. I'm not sure they had funnel cakes back then in the dragon time. Where, where did that, funnel cakes? Absolutely. Did dragons like funnel cakes? Absolutely. Awesome, beautiful. You can't go wrong. We'll be back with some food after this. Stay tuned. Yeah, that's quite, quite the journalistic scoop out there about yeah. ju uh, Jurassic funnel cakes, David Sears. Yeah. Well, that's how you fight the dragons <laughs> off with funnel cakes, right? All right, thank you, David. Live <laughs> out at the zoo. We've